Right now, how to deal with Russia, still top of mind for world leaders at the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. But first, why a plane had to make an emergency landing in the middle of a farm field in Cross Plains. And the Asian community in Madison prepares to say goodbye to a South Side staple. How the store provided more than just groceries, but a piece of home. Those stories and more coming up right now at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. New at 6, a plane was forced to make an emergency landing this afternoon in a farm field in Cross Plains. According to Dane County Sheriff's officials, a private single-engine plane that was headed to Pewaukee landed in a field near Garfoot Road. The pilot and passenger of the Cessna 172 were not injured. FAA records indicate the plane is registered to a Minneapolis company and took off from a small airport near Minneapolis around 1130 this morning. The FAA is involved in that investigation. And in Dodge County, a crash on U.S. Highway 151 this morning has left a woman dead and a man and two children injured. Emergency crews were called to the northbound area of the highway near County Highway M in the town of Chester just before 8.30 for a report of a two-vehicle crash. According to Dodge County Sheriff officials, a 2017 Chevy Sonic had drifted and collided with a semi-truck pulling double trailers that was parked on the paved shoulder. A 38-year-old woman from Fall River who was riding in the front seat of the Chevy died at the scene. The driver, a 59-year-old Fall River man, was taken to UW Hospital by med flight with serious injuries. A 14-year-old girl was ejected from the Chevy during the crash and sustained serious life-threatening injuries, and a 9-year-old girl sustained minor injuries. The driver of the semi, a 32-year-old Oshkosh man, was not hurt. The crash remains under investigation. And new today, Basketball police identified the two men they say were found dead in an apparent murder-suicide. Police say 32-year-old Christopher Mazera and his father, 58-year-old Russell Mazera, were fatally shot at a home Thursday morning. According to Basketball Police Chief Jaden McCulloch, investigators found that the two men were sitting on a porch the night before. McCulloch said that at some point, Christopher shot at Russell twice, hitting him once in the chest before turning the gun on himself. A motive is still unknown, but police believe alcohol may have been a factor. The investigation is ongoing. All right, let's head outside now for a look at your first warm forecast with meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Very lovely day outside. Yeah, it is just about perfect right now. The sky is completely clear. Temperatures are gorgeous. And if we look outside, I assume many people are enjoying the weather. Right now, 73 in Madison and not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures across our area are mostly in the 70s with some areas in the 60s. Pretty much all of southern Wisconsin is dealing with this beautiful weather. I mean, it's I can't say enough about it. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. And from yesterday, which was a bit colder, we're up around 13 degrees in Madison. Some parts of our area closer to 15 to 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. And we're also not really dealing with any wind speeds, so just seven miles per hour. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather if you can, because it hard, it's hard to get better than what it is right now. Throughout the evening, we are going to see temperatures drop to around 60 degrees, but it's, so it's going to remain pleasant and it's going to remain dry. For the most part, we are going to remain dry for the foreseeable future. During the overnight hours, we'll see temperatures a bit warmer tonight than what they were last night. We'll see lows of around 50, and the temperatures are going to continue to rise for the end of the weekend and much of next week. I'll have more details on the rise of temperatures coming up a little bit later in the show. Jacob, thank you. A Madison teenager charged in a string of bomb threats at Velma Phillips Memorial High School now faces multiple federal charges. Last year, 18-year-old Joseph Garrison was charged with nine felonies and accused of using Bitcoin to pay other people to make threats toward Vell Phillips between February and March. Now, according to federal court documents, he's charged with computer fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy, and identity theft. Federal prosecutors allege Garrison stole login credentials through the dark web to hack accounts on a sports betting site and sell them, resulting in a theft of about $600,000. Law enforcement bought some of the credentials undercover and linked them to the teen before searching Garrison's home in February. They found programs and messages on his devices allegedly revealing his connection to the attacks, including one text to a co-conspirator where he allegedly said, fraud is fun. Authorities say Garrison admitted to hacking and selling accounts himself, telling investigators he made $16,000 a day at the peak of his operation. Well, after 40 years, a staple specialty grocery store in Madison is closing its doors. Our Braden Ross caught up with the owner and his customers to hear what they'll miss most. 
you may recognize this grocery store. It's one many have called one of the best Asian grocery stores in Madison and a Southside staple. But now after 40 years, they're closing their doors, leaving many of their customers wondering where they'll get their taste of home. Well, I like a snail. <laughs> but I just graduated from UW in engineering. And then, I, and then this business for, was for sale. Kian Ma has owned and operated Yuwa Oriental Foods on Madison's south side for four decades. I thought I can do better than the previous owner. So, but I learned the hard way. It's not that simple. Everything is kind of compact because we don't have much uh, shelf space. But the store style is a very tiny store, 1,000 square feet. Over the years, the store has grown in both size and variety. Originally, we started with Chinese and Thai, all the sauce for the Caribbean. And then the bottom here, the bottom is all the African food. Today, Ma carries food imported from four different continents. He says it feels nice to be able to give others a little taste of home. This is all, all the original brand from their country, so they are very familiar with, with, with the brand. It feels good because I remember when I first came to Madison, I couldn't find any oriental food, you know. For his customers, the store has become a staple. When we come here, we are always happy. Pick something new. Right out, come back again. And... Srinivas Malvri has been a loyal customer for more than 20 years. It's like a family, you know, that's the thing. He definitely cares about all the customers, for sure. I mean, I, not just me, I know a lot of friends that go here. So I think uh, we, we, we will be missing this particular Yuva for sure. And the feeling is mutual. I, I just want to let all my customers know, we, I mean, I appreciate their support during all this year, and I, I'm going to miss talking with them. For News 3 Now, I'm Brayden Ross. Ma says he hasn't found a buyer for the store, but there is still time to shop at UWA before they officially close in August. And more local news now. With summer here, you may be thinking about taking up a new hobby. Could it be birding? A club based in Madison is making it easier to have fun while birding. The co-founder of the Wisconsin BIPOC Birding Club says the hobby, which saw 45 million birders nationally in 2021, is growing. Their club is one of the few which caters to everyone in the birding space. We would go to these traditional birding spaces and we would never see people that looked like us, whether in the group um, or leading it. Patterson shares why he and so many others are now getting into birding coming up tonight on News Through Now at 10. Well, stay with us for more stories after the break. Congress's stalling of debt ceiling talks follows the president to the G7 summit in Japan. And tonight at 10, educators across Wisconsin rally at the Capitol to urge lawmakers to make education a high priority in the next state budget. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can go out and have s'more fun. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's crispy. Anyone? Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, Many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Hang on tight, Wisconsin, because fun just got a lot faster. It's Fast Play from the Wisconsin Lottery, an all-new style of lotto games that combine instant wins with the progressive jackpot. Playing is easy at any lottery retailer. Just print, play, and know if you're a winner instantly. The progressive jackpot starts at $10,000 and grows with each ticket sold. The share of the jackpot increases with the price of the ticket. Fast Play is available now only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can go out and have s'more fun. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's crispy. Anyone? Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. 
You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Right now, President Joe Biden and other world leaders are in Hiroshima, Japan for the G7 summit. The group has unveiled tough new sanctions on Russia as they prepare to hear from Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky later this weekend. President Biden and other allies are pledging support to Ukraine for as long as it takes. But Russia and Ukraine aren't the only topics in Japan as debt ceiling negotiators here in the U.S. ended Friday night without an agreement. Shelly Malashi has the latest. Early Saturday morning in Japan, world leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, gathering for the annual G7 family photo. This year, the G7 countries are seeking common ground on a host of global issues. One is how to confront Beijing's growing military and economic influence, plus ways to help Ukraine in the war against Russia. F-16's fourth-generation fighter aircraft are part of that mix. The obvious first step there is to do the training. Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, who made a dramatic entrance at the summit, is expected to meet face to face with President Biden on Sunday. According to officials, President Biden is expected to unveil a $375 million military aid package to Ukraine after the summit hears from Zelensky. Earlier Saturday, President Biden met with the leaders of Australia, India and Japan, announcing new joint efforts to invest in infrastructure and clean energy projects in the region. A great deal of the future of our world is going to be written here in the Indo-Pacific. Also on the mind of world leaders at the G7 is debt limit talks back in the U.S. On Friday, a meeting between top debt ceiling negotiators from the White House and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy ended with neither side able to say when they'd meet in person again. President Biden is still expressing optimism. The carriers go back to the principles and say this is what we're thinking about and then people put down new claims. I still believe we'll be able to avoid a default. I'm Shelley Malashi reporting. Russia is not the only focus of the three-day gathering, which Zelensky is set to address tomorrow. China also features heavily. The United States and Europe continue having differences in how to manage increasingly tense relationships with the world's second largest economy. And in Washington, the debate over raising the nation's debt to the ceiling is at a crucial point this weekend, less than two weeks before the government could go into default. At the Capitol, negotiations over raising the nation's debt ceiling were stop and go Friday. House Republicans walked out of talks with the Biden administration during the day, then resumed them at night. But so far, they're far from a deal. If the debt limit isn't raised, the government could run out of money by June 1st, potentially upending financial markets and pausing military salaries, Medicare and Social Security payments. But House Republicans want caps that amount to an across-the-board 13% cut on government spending. We have serious differences, and this is going to continue to be a difficult conversation. The White House is just, but we can't be spending more money next year. The president is cutting his overseas trip short to return to Washington tomorrow, hoping to finalize an agreement before the deadline. And still ahead at 6, how special needs kids in Wausau are connecting their lines and experiencing nature with the help of a fishing team. And we sure earned it, a stretch of pretty pleasant weather. Jacob has details in your first warm forecast. Memorial Day sale starts now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 30% on all Maytag major appliances and 72-month special financing with no money down, plus free delivery in as little as three days. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Have you ever been challenged? been tried, made a pact with your own limits. Have you been here, there, places no one should go? If you have, then you know that whatever you're capable of, so are we. No wonder Ford SUVs lead in brand loyalty. Now get a new Explorer with 0% APR financing for 36 months plus 1,000 low APR cash, only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Camp for Less at Camping World in DeForest. We have hundreds of RVs to choose from with quality pre-owned RVs starting at $99.99 and new RVs starting at just $134 a month. Plus, every RV purchase comes with a Good Sam Elite membership and access to our nationwide service network. We guarantee you'll get the best deal or give you $1,000. Stock up on everything you need for the RV and campsite with our huge selection of RV accessories. Looking to sell your RV? We pay the most. Click, call, or come in to Camping World in DeForest today. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, 
I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Yeah, you know. That classic Arby's. Roast beef. Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Arby's, we have the meat. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Acting myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. The savings do not get better than this. Ashley's Memorial Day sale starts now. Holiday doorbusters like this three-piece sectional start at just $25 a month with six-year special financing store-wide, only at Ashley. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. For more than 25 years now, D.C. Everest has held an annual Bay Day at the Bay, an event where the fishing team and staff teach special needs kids how to fish. It's a good skill to know, especially since fishing season has begun here in Wisconsin. Like, if you ever get into a fight with your best friend, Go on a boat ride with them, and it will bring you guys back together. As the old saying goes, life is better on a boat. Before going on the water, these two students got into a fishy argument. And while there, they realized that... We should not be fighting over, like, something to, like... Something so stupid. Yeah. Because it was something so stupid. <laughs> they aren't the only ones that had a positive experience at the park today. Um, I think it's nice for students who have limited mobility. We're able to get them out of wheelchairs and get them onto boats and experience, you know, being on the water, which might not always be a physical feat for them to um, do with their families. For many students, an activity like this means they're able to engage with people they normally wouldn't. While fishing was an option, there were also other activities for kids to enjoy, like cornhole, for example. Being able to talk to people on a day-to-day -day basis is 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 kind of difficult for a lot of people and especially with kids with disabilities it's it's a little bit more difficult so getting them out getting them experience with these kind of things is, is super big 91 students came out everyone enjoys it and they keep coming back every year Corvino is an Everest alumni he's been working with special needs kids and gone on this trip a few times now but he sometimes wonders who should be teaching who I've casted probably a couple lines and they've caught more fish than me all day so it just shows me I need to get back to work it was great fishing weather over here, wasn't it, uh, Jacob? <laughs> yeah, and the temperatures are only going to get better, at least if you like the warm weather, because we could see high temperatures near 80 for a lot of next week. And over the, over the rest of the weekend, we're going to continue to see mild temperatures with less haze. And we're also going to be pretty dry, at least until Friday, maybe even dry beyond that. Here's one more look at the high temperatures from today. 73 was the high in Madison, just absolutely gorgeous across southern Wisconsin. And temperatures right now are also very comfortable. 73 still in Madison, a lot of our area in the mid 70s and upper 60s. Now, if we take a look at the low temperatures for tonight, they are going to drop into the 40s, but overall a little bit warmer than the low temperatures last night. Clear skies will remain and then high temperatures tomorrow will be very similar to today, possibly even a bit warmer. Once again, mid 70s, some areas may only stay in the upper 60s, but it's going to be very nice nonetheless, no matter where you are in southern Wisconsin, and it's going to continue for Monday. As I mentioned, the temperatures are going to continue to warm up upper 70s for Monday. Very mild wind, not going to be an issue. Completely clear across not just Wisconsin, really most of the Great Lakes. A little bit of rain, a little bit of rain off in the eastern portion of the Great Lakes, but for the most part, we're going to continue to be dry. For tomorrow afternoon, a few more clouds than today, but still dry. Cloud, cloud, uh, excuse me. Clouds will continue for Monday as well, but not expect to see any rainfall. Tuesday, once again, maybe a few clouds, no rainfall. We could see some very light rain on Wednesday, but otherwise we are going to be still very dry. There could be a bit of a lake breeze on Wednesday that may bring temperatures down a bit, but the forecast still calls for mid to upper 70s at the 
at, at the coolest at, for highs. And then for Thursday, continue, continuing to be dry. Friday is also going to be dry. We're really not expect to see any rainfall until possibly Memorial Day weekend. And those temperatures are going to be warm. The 6 to 10 day temperature outlook shows above average temperatures for a lot of the north central portion of the United States. The most above average will be a little bit off to our west. But here in Madison, we are still going to be above average. And you can see that firsthand with the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. 80s by Tuesday and then we'll be right around 80 really for the rest of next week and continuing into Memorial Day weekend. But as we get to Memorial Day weekend, that's the, our next chance for rainfall. But the next seven days are going to remain dry. It's hard to see a better seven day forecast than this. But then by the time we get to Memorial Day, there is the chance for a few storms. Still very unclear how they will develop. Maybe some storms on Sunday. Otherwise, we're looking very nice for the next several days. Now we're not going to be needing the umbrella, but we are still doing the umbrella contest for one more week. If you want to submit your photos, you can to the email address on screen first worn at WISCTV.com or you can submit it through the weather app. The weather team here will then select a photo and whoever's photo is selected will win a first worn weather umbrella and we are continuing to do this until next Friday, May 26th and we will still announce a new winner every weekday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. But as I said, we're not going to be needing those umbrellas. I mean, it's hard to see a better forecast than the next seven days. It's going to be amazing. Sure it was amazing today already. So It really was. You a big fishing guy? You can get out there and fish this week. I haven't really fished that much in my entire life, but it's always something that I've wanted to get into, just haven't done it, you know? But it's go. always something I've been interested to, and the weather is going to be just about perfect to do that. So. Yeah, now's your shot. Thanks yep. so much, Jacob. <laughs> And still ahead, a former Badgers hockey coach put on one of Madison's biggest fishing events of the year and did it for a good cause. Find out what it is next in sports. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Rugabilitility. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable, rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com calls Honda the best value brand. Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. But we like Rugabilitility. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals. So see your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. You got me. Hi. You're it. Imagine a world with no drama, where the guarantee of high-quality promotional items delivered on time go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Hopefully, your family will never need to hire a personal injury lawyer. But if you ever do, it's important to understand that not all law firms are the same. A lot more is involved than one phone call and a quick settlement. To make things right again, it can take time and it will take talent. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier, national reputation, hometown service. If you struggle to keep tabs on the service fees you pay, you're not alone. There's just too much to keep track of. News 3 Now answers a call for action with strategies to help make sure you don't get charged more than you owe. Wednesday at six,
It all started by combining his three loves, hockey, fishing, and helping others. Marco Siki, a former Badger women's hockey coach, threw his fifth annual Casting for Kids event on Saturday. They began the day by sending out more than 200 fishermen on 70 boats, including local celebrities in the hockey community. By round two, the fishing ends, and that's where the real fun begins. Starts with a happy hour, ends with a silent auction. And when it's all said and done, Mark says they'll bring home more than $200,000, all of which goes to charity. It's been awesome. I mean, look at the day, so it's been incredible. Uh, but it is a, a fundraiser for the American Family Children's Hospital and the uh, UW Carbone Cancer Center. Uh, obviously, the fishing part of the event's a big part of it, and then they come in here afterwards. We have a quick happy hour dinner uh, and then a live auction. After winning five of their first six series in 2023, the Brewers have lost six of their last eight, and they need a win today to avoid another Series L. But we're still early in the season. There's a lot of baseball to be played. Not that anybody's counting, 117 games left for the Brew Crew, but trying to regain that steam is tough to do, especially against the best team in baseball. Not to mention these Tampa Bay Rays are 20 and three at home this year. Lead one nothing, and there goes Yandy Diaz. He adds to that lead, makes Eric Lauer pay for hanging the curveball, and that one leaves the yard on the wall scraper. Skip things up to the fourth. Crew trail 4-1, not for long. There goes Brian Anderson, his first, excuse me, the first year Brewer mashes his seventh tater of the year to make it a one-run game, but that's all the runs that the Brewers' bats had in them on Saturday. The final 8-4 Rays win. Staying on the diamond, UW-Whitewater needed to win at least one of their final two games today to advance in the NCAA D3 softball championship. But they found themselves losing in this day today. They dropped both of their contests, both heartbreakers. Warhawks dropped game one 13 to four, lost game two, three to two at the hands of the Co-College Cohawks, ending their season. Not to mention a historic season for Beloit College baseball came to an end as well. Needing to win out in their NCAA D3 regional, the Buccaneers lost a nail biter. Four to three was the final in 12 innings. And in better news, Madison College punched their ticket to the NJCAA D2 World Series when they defeated McHenry County College 14 to eight today at home. They're headed to their fifth straight World Series. And after 19 years of the reigns, Wisconsin Rowing announced today that B.B. Bryan's would be stepping down as head coach. In her 19 seasons leading the Wisconsin women's rowing team, she led them to 15 NCAA tournament appearances. And the Badgers got a big boost on the wrestling mat today when Michigan's Max Mailer announced on Twitter that he's transferring to Wisconsin for his senior year. Mailer is originally from Highland, Wisconsin, where he won a state title his senior year. There we go. Very cool. Very good weather for baseball. Yeah, yeah it really baseball, is. I mean, playing baseball. Can't ask for better than that. I mean, it's beautiful outside. Yeah, you said oh, they did play in Tampa, and doesn't Tampa have a dome? They do. The <laughs> trap has a, has a dome, so it doesn't really help them there. But yeah, yeah, I mean, there's thunderstorms there, but I mean, it's kind of a weird place to put a dome. It is. It very <laughs> in much Florida. is. Florida. Yeah. 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 Didn't but need it, a dome here, though. No, and it's going to continue to be very nice. Tomorrow we'll see similar temperatures, mid-70s, partly sunny skies. It is going to get a bit warmer throughout next week. If you enjoy the warm weather, it's going to get even better for you. Uh, 80s by Tuesday, and we could continue to be in the 80s throughout much of next week, at least right around 80. Our next chance of storms won't be until Memorial Day weekends, but definitely get out and enjoy the weather, especially for tomorrow. You know, it's Sunday. Most people are off. It's going to continue to be nice. Enjoy it. There you go. Get on the lakes. Cast your lines. Do some fishing. We'll see you tonight again at 10 o'clock. Bye, everybody.